Hey guys, I'm sorry I look a little messy, but I do not feel very well today, but I wanted to get a video up starting a new little series, little kind of like a little mini series, I guess, that I've been wanting to do on this channel for a while now, and that is giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to shop at um, thrift stores, Goodwill, um, like places like uh, Big Lots, uh, consignment sales, and a few other things like that. So today we're going to start off with a few um, Goodwill tips, and I'm also going to have a Goodwill haul of so some of the stuff I've bought at Goodwill over the past couple weeks or so. Um, my first tip for you for Goodwill is know um, when like the best time to go is. For me, I like going um, during the week, during the work day because there's not as many people out during the work day because most of them, if you're a stay-at-home mom, then you can go. If you're not a stay-at-home mother, then I suggest trying to go like right after work or you're going to have to wait to go on the weekends, but going on the weekends there's usually a lot more people there. So yeah, I suggest going on a weekday during the work hours or let's say if you have a long lunch, go on your lunch lunch break if it's close. I'm not telling you don't drive 30 minutes if it's not. But that's another, th you know, go during the work weekday and um, there'll be less people there so you'll have less people to fight, you know, not really fight over stuff, but to might be taking items that you want also, like kids clothes and things. Another good tip with you when, or for you, when you go to Goodwill is to think outside the box. Um, an example of thinking outside the box is um, picture frames. Say there's a picture frame you really like but the art in it is like horrendously ugly then you can always pop the art out and put your own pictures in or you could put your child's artwork in there or something like that. I'm sorry, I have a fuzz on my tongue from my sweatshirt. When you don't feel good, I'm in a big, like, cozy sweatshirt. This is a guy's um, 2X sweatshirt. I love them really big when I don't feel good. Uh, yeah. Think outside the box. Um, another good example is... I was in there looking for metal hooks to go in our kids' bathroom, and I didn't end up finding any, but I found this wooden, like, rock thing with hooks, wood hooks on there, and there was three of them, and it was a dollar, and I thought, you know what, let's just give it a try. For a dollar, I can't beat it, and I'll show you that later. At the end of the video, I am going to go around my house and show you things that I have purchased at Goodwill to give you guys some examples. Now, not all... Goodwills are going to be the same. They're all going to have different stuff. So if you have more than one in your area, I would suggest going to more than one. That's another tip. Go to more than one Goodwill if you have in a close enough distance. I have li I lived in a place where there was three Goodwills in a close enough distance to my house that I did not mind going and checking them out. So sometimes on the weekend, <clears throat> I would just go and check them out and spend you know a good part of my morning goodwill shopping and some of them had better furniture than others some of them had better this than others so it all really depends another tip is when you walk into the, your goodwill they usually have a sign saying such and such colored whatever whatever is half off today like our goodwill right now all the children's books are 50 cents that's changed all of them are 50 cents now there's not different prices, 60 cents, dollar, 50, whatever. They're all 50 cents. So that is helpful with children's books. Um, so like if you walk in the store and it says, blue tagged clothing and linens are half off today. Well, if you look for items in your, whatever items you need with the blue tag. So let's say you find some shorts and a tank top for your child and they have a blue tag. So that's 50% off. So in our goodwill, they'd be a dollar a piece because they're two dollars normally. So that's another thing to know when you go to Goodwill. Make sure you look at what's up there. Um, another tip is a lot of Goodwills get new merchandise. Now at the Goodwill I go to, if the price ends in 99 cents, like 2.99, 3.99, 3 
it is a brand new item, never been used or whatever before. And if you notice when you shop at Goodwill, there are a lot of, or sometimes there's a lot of Target stickers on things. That's because they came from Target, they didn't sell on clearance, and now Goodwill has them. For example, I got my daughter a new little purple and white pattern rug with hearts on it for her bedroom that was a 30 or $40 rug from Target for $12.99 found it at Goodwill. And I know it's from Target because I know my brand. That's another tip. Sorry. So whenever you're going and looking through items and you see Target clearance stickers on them, they're from Target and they're usually brand new. And you can find a lot, like our local Goodwill just got a ton of Target shoes, brand new with the tags still on them. They didn't sell at Target's, so they bring them to Goodwill. Another tip when you're shopping at Goodwill is know the prices of certain high-end brands like let's say you go to you just go in the gap store and you look at how much their shorts cost and stuff so when you go to goodwill if you see a pair of gap shorts you know okay this is a really good deal even if there's a new tag on it especially if there's a new like tag on it because sometimes at goodwill the higher the more high priced brands they kind of make them a little bit more expensive so if you know the price of your brands that you have then you'll know whether you're getting a good deal or not. Basically, if you see something from Gap and they want, I don't know, $12.95 for it, and it's like a $30 pair of shorts or something, to me that's okay, but I would not really wanna pay $12.95, especially, now if it's for my husband's shorts, I would. So, um, oh, another tip is definitely get a cart when you go in just because you end up picking things up and then you can, what I do is I just put anything in my cart that I might end up getting and then later on I will go through it before I leave the store, before I check out, excuse me, and purge a few items. Another tip is don't miss the bins at the front of the store. My Goodwill has bins at the front of things that they don't put in the back because they're afraid somebody might steal them. I always look through those bins because I have found a lot of great things in those bins that I use all the time. So those are probably my best tips for Goodwill. Oh, sorry. I forgot one more tip. Have a list. I know it sounds weird for Goodwill, but if you can have a list of your on your phone of things that you're needing in your house, like let's say you're needing some over the door hooks for your bathroom. Well, instead of going to the store and buying it, have it on your list, and then if you go to Goodwill and you see one, you go, oh, I do need that, and that's a great deal. And that's just an awesome, that's just my favorite tip, is to keep a list of stuff you need, but you don't want to pay full price for it, because you just might not need it for very long. Okay, my next little, my next little things about shopping at Goodwill is kind of what to buy at Goodwill. What should you look for? First thing kids clothes you can find some awesome kids clothes at goodwill in name brands for really cheap my goodwill anything 2t and up is two dollars period unless it has another price unless it has another price hanging on it two dollars period and kids outgrow clothes so fast that it's not really worth investing a ton of money in them because they're going to outgrow them and then you're either going to sell them at a yard sale or donate them back so you're not really going to make your money back on them. Another tip, tip two, they are not tip two, the number two things to buy at Goodwill, kids books and toys. I'm combining them in one because they just will. Kids outgrow books, they outgrow toys, or they get bored with the toys really fast so you can buy a car for a dollar or 50 cents or something or even less, 30 cents to a quarter sometimes and your son plays with it for a little while and then he's end up being bored. So you haven't really spent that much money and if you sell it at a yard sale and you sell it for 50 cents, which is what you paid for it at Goodwill, you're making your money back. Number th third thing to buy at Goodwill is books for yourself. You can buy a book for yourself instead of spending 15 to 20 dollars and yes I know with Kindles out there it's awesome but let's say you like reading romance novels like the intrigue romance novels um which i'll show you a few of them i bought them at goodwill 
they're like 60 cents at Goodwill. So you can read them and then donate them back or sell them for 25 cents at a yard sale. And so you're not going to make a ton of money, but that then you don't have a ton of books to keep because they're usually three to four dollars a piece. Um, my brain just died. But yeah, even with the Kindles that are out now, I like buying books on my Kindle that I want to hang on to. Some books at Goodwill, I buy them and I start reading them and oh, I don't really like that. So I either put it in my donation pile or my yard sale bin. Donation bin or yard sale bin, actually. And go with it. The number four thing to buy at Goodwill is glassware. Glasses, plates, dishes, cups, um, even some melamine items. I got two platters from Target that are melamine. Beautiful platters. They're not Christmassy. They're not anything for $1.99. Yeah, pretty sure it's $1.99. Brand new, never been used for $1.99 from Target. And we use them at Christmas. We use them at you know, when we're like having like a barbecue or something, they're great. Dishes, glassware, anything like that is great to buy from there. Um, lots of times you can get whole sets of plates from Target, you know, for way cheaper, which is awesome because dishes can be expensive. And being military and we move sometimes, if they break our dishes, I don't want to, you know, the army will give us money, but I could go to Goodwill and like do all white dishes, but in like different like cool shapes and have maybe some different things about them which would be really neat. Oh my gosh. And the number five thing to buy at Goodwill, furniture. You can find some nice pieces of furniture at Goodwill. All you have to do is think about it and look. Like in our playroom, I got a little cubey thing for $20, which was going to be more like 40 or 50 and it works perfectly in the playroom and it was all, and it was super cheap. Um, you can find rugs at Goodwill. Sometimes the rugs at Goodwill are a little expensive. Tell you that, but sometimes they're new rugs, which is nice buying a new rug, but rugs are good. I mean, it's not really, I kind of throw that in with furniture. Rugs are good, but furniture you can find. I've seen whole dining room table sets. I've seen TV stands, coffee tables, cabinets, Basically, look at it, make sure it's not cracked, it's not broken. Um, if it's real wood and you can sand it and refinish it. But if it's pressed wood stuff, you can, you can sand pressed wood and refinish it or you can rough it up and just spray paint it, which is nice, any color you like, which is great. And the number six thing to buy at Goodwill is linens. I know it sounds weird, but you can find comforters, sheets, curtains, pillowcases, um, towels. I found my son a Cars hooded bath towel for $1.99. Yeah, I appreciate sure $1.99 at Goodwill, which is awesome. And this video is going to be super long. Ah. So, yeah, that is my six things to buy at Goodwill. And the thing about linens and clothes is you can wash them really in your laundry in your washing machine and you don't feel eb oh ebgbs about it so i that was my tips and tricks for this goodwill video or for shopping at goodwill um the next video i'm probably going to discuss shopping at um regular thrift store like your local thrift stores not chain thrift stores Chain thrift stores like Savers and stuff are pretty much just like Goodwill. I'm talking like your local mom and pop thrift stores. We've got a couple of them around here that I do shop at. And I'll give you tips and tricks on that. So this video is 14 minutes long. So I think I'm going to put this video up. And then I will go ahead and put up my Goodwill haul. I'm going to try to put them all together. I'm going to put the haul with the um, showing you around the house of some other things I've purchased at Goodwill. Or maybe I'll just lump them all together. So yeah, I'll check, I'll, let's get started with the haul. Catch you guys in a bit.